Okay, I think we're I think we're live. <laughs> okay, good morning, you guys, and welcome to another episode of Everyday Enlightenment. It's Tuesday. I'm Claritha from Jade Path, and I hope everybody had a great holiday weekend. If you are in the United States, we just had a long weekend, and it's sort of the end of our summer, so we're winding down. Um, Hey there, lady. Nice to see you. Um, just jumped on, and it's Tuesday, another episode of Everyday Enlightenment, so thank you for being here. And what I want to talk today, what I want to talk about today with you guys is mindset and why it is so important to manage our mindset. And you might have heard a lot of thought leaders like Tony Robbins, Brene Brown, Brendan Bouchard. I mean, there are a bajillion awesome people uh, talking about mindset and that it is very important to understand how our mindset influences everything else because it is a crucial um, sort of structural foundation of how we operate in the world and how we experience our world because it colors everything every interaction that we have so to talk about mindset in a slightly different way good morning Vicki good morning Aaron um, talking about mindset and so to want to kind of broaden this, um, your perspective of it just a little bit. And so if you talk about mindset in a, in a broader perspective, I want you to think about you being able to create something. So if you think about anything that you can create, anything that you can kind of like create uh, physically, it needs a structure, right? So whatever it, whatever you're creating, it needs something to sort of like hang on to. So for example, if you are trying to create a painting, you need a canvas to put the paint on. The paint's just not going to like hang out in the ether. <laughs> um, if you're going to plant a garden, you need dirt and soil to sort of ground those plants into the garden. If you are going to create a human, you know, we need our bones, we need our skeletal system to hold the structure of the body together to give it um, form. And if you're going to build a home, you know, you need a solid foundation and framework to hold everything together. And your mindset is the exact same way. It is no different. And it is the foundation of how you operate in your life and how your life is sort of reflected back to you. If that makes any sense. If that makes sense, give me a little like heart or thumbs up or something. <laughs> so our mindset is just a collection of beliefs or thought patterns that create our mental attitude. And our mental attitude is what in is what um, informs us in our response, thanks for the hearts guys, um, is what informs us in our interactions with other people, kind of how we perceive information coming in and how we give our opinions or our actions on the way out. So our, our mindset is kind of what creates that interface between how we interact in our environment. So I hope that makes sense. And so depending on what you're feeding your mindset, feeding your beliefs, feeding your thought system, you can feel really empowered and hopeful about a situation, or you can feel really disempowered and hopeless in a situation, in that same situation. It all kind of starts with your perception, with your mindset and how that is set up as a foundation. So you are the master of your life. And in order to be masterful in your life, you need to manage this. You need to be the person in the driver's seat, <laughs> so to speak, in your mindset. So you have to pay attention to what is going on and see what is kind of, what is the background chatter? What is the underlying um, like structure of thoughts and beliefs that is kind of like in the, in the background there and what's going on? So hi, Teresa, good morning, talking about mindset. Um, so whether it is things that are feeding you in a good way and giving you positive um, empowerment in your decision making, or on the other side, if it is mind chatter that is supporting limiting beliefs, um, sneaky self-doubt, if it is mind chatter that is um, self-deprecating because that happens a lot. I know a lot of people struggle with this because I hear about it. Um, if it is just chatter from like media and news and stuff that's just kind of in there in your brain, kind of like feeding your thoughts, not exactly helpful for you. So you have to be in the driver's 
what's going on up here because it is your responsibility to manage what is going on in your brain. And you can set it up to be a support or you can set it up to be a not so supportive <laughs> for lack of a better term. So what so to because you want to feed your mental fortitude. You want to take a look and observe your thoughts and be mindful about what your mindset, like what level your mindset is set at. So feed it with things that build you up and give you a good sense of mental fortitude versus things that break you down and feel helpless and hopeless. So it's your responsibility. And there are podcasts, <clears throat> excuse me, depending on what you're working on and maybe just start with like, say one small aspect of your life, you can find podcasts to, you know, pos positive podcasts and things to like fuel your mindset in that way. You can find um, videos on YouTube. There are a ton of books. I mean, they're so like, e or audio books. There are so many options for us to have to seek out different things that are going to support a positive mindset and a mindset where we can think for ourselves versus be inundated by thoughts from other people, you know, including myself. So like see what resonates with you and what doesn't resonate with you. But it is, it is your job to manage your mental fortitude. And I will, my hope for you guys is for that each and every one of you, you find books or teachers or mentors or um, other people that are going to build you up in a strong way where you can think for yourself and that you know how awesome you really are because everybody is amazing and like life gets in the way and we start not feeling so great about ourselves. but it is in that mindset where our belief system changes, where our thought patterns change. And once that changes, that changes how we react in the world, and then that changes how the world um, reflects back to us. So I hope that is helpful for you guys. And whether it is, like for example, this year I've been on a book tear. I like books because they're like textual and I like to read before bed and things like that. So I have been reading a ton of books this year about business, about healing, about spirituality, and all of these things <clears throat> about money mindset, like all of these things that I like need to tweak a little bit because I see where my thought patterns go and they might not be going in such a positive space. Like I have been in charge of finding ways to change my thinking that serves me in a better way. So yeah, books, podcasts, um, following people on different social media sites, but make sure it resonates with you and make sure it feels good for you because everybody kind of takes um, responds to a different type of messaging. So find something that you resonate with. Good morning, Elodie, talking about mindset. Um, so you feel empowered and you feel empowered to make decisions about your life and that you're just not, you know, blown in the wind up to the whimsy of whoever is, you know, out there coming your way. So I hope this I encourage you to do the same. So find what it is to help reprogram your mindset in a way that is positive and beneficial for you. So I would love to hear what you're doing right in the comments below. If you are, if there's a particular podcast or a book or somebody that you follow that you find inspiring and uplifting for your mindset, because I'm always looking for new people. So I hope that was helpful for you guys today. If you just hopped on, um, please go back and watch it from the beginning, talking about mindset and um, just to get you in the right, help get you in the right mindset for the week. So thank you so much for being here. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week on Tuesday at 1111 for another episode of Everyday Enlightenment. So take care guys and have a lovely, lovely week.